Hi, and welcome to Chop Chat Cook. I've got uh, George in my kitchen, which is very exciting. So welcome, George. Thank you. Hello. And uh, George is going to tell us all about how she sort of moved um, and taken all the skills and the knowledge and the experience that she's got as a production designer into her new uh, creative passionpreneur business. Ooh, passionpreneur, that's yeah. a good word. So George, tell us a little bit about... Um, you know, how you created Gifts, Gifts of Creation. Of creation. Um, well, it actually came out of a sort of a fallow time. I had more or less retired and was wandering around the suburbs with my mm -hmm. dog. And I've always been wont to sort of pick up pretty things, you know, in, the, in natural things, flowers, shells and yes. nuts. Um, and so I collected a few of those. And um, and one day the tree next to, next door to us, which is a um, a, a blue quondam, oh, dropped nice. its leaves on the lawn, and they uh, they go the most brilliant red and yellow when mm. they're turning. So there were these beautiful sort of arrow shaped, you know, they were just lying on the lawn, and so I collected them, and then I just took a photo of them, and thought, oh, that'd make a nice card the next yeah, time I make a birthday yeah. card or whatever. So that's how it started. I literally just started photographing these things. And I did make some cards. I did print them on paper because I had a photocopier. That... But then I thought, well, what else could I print them on? And because I, with my limited computer skills, was able to um, crop images mm. and then flip them. Or even, like, duplicate them, is it? Yes. Yeah. So it's like a paste and copy, but you flip it, and then you flip it that way. Right. And so okay. even in a fairly um, simple program, mm. you can do that. So I ended up creating these repetitive patterns, and some of them were absolutely exquisite. So I thought, well, what about fabric? Actually, it was tea towels. I love getting tea towels as presents because they come from somewhere and they've usually got something on them mm, that tells you about where true. the person is. Yeah, you're right. They're sort of like a social history as well, aren't yes. they? Yes, yes. So I've got lots of tea towels my mum used to send me from Devon and I thought, well, I'm always looking for things to send to my friends and rallies overseas that is light. Yeah, that's true. And Post Australian. Oh, that's a great idea. That's how they manifested first. And then scarves. But because they were both lightweight, mm. lovely things. Mm. However, I decided to um, get them printed because I would take the photo, collect the things, arrange them, photograph mm. it, do a bit of manipulation, and then Carrie helped me do the more mm. adventurous stuff in um, Photoshop. Photoshop. Then I um, sent it off to a couple of companies in Australia and um, to get samples done. And it's actually very expensive to get things printed on fabric because the machines are big and very expensive. Oh, okay. You know, so I, got, I'm, I use this um, lovely company in, in Melbourne called Frankie and Swiss. Mm. Very small, but they've now got two machines, these gorgeous young women that, that do this beautiful, these beautiful jobs. And I thought, well, I'd rather mm. get them done in Australia. It does cost mm. a bit more. But since I had... Um, a website. I have had lots of invitations from China, and it's a bit tempting, but I'd rather mm. rather keep it Australian. And I suppose, given the current circumstances as well, your supply sort of hasn't really been affected that much, have you? Oh, it? you mean because of the COVID? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Because I have. A, um, they closed down a bit. Oh, okay. But no, they are still operating, mm. and, and in fact, there's a, a parcel on its way to me at the moment. So mm. now you had a, an exhibition of your. It were, there were more banners, weren't they, and artistic pieces, weren't they? I was invited to have an exhibition at St Francis College in the chapel there, beautiful sandstone chapel in it Brisbane. Is, it's a beautiful building. Kerry Holland, the artist, um, invited me to have an exhibition there. And she said, oh, George, you don't need to do anything new, just use Gifts of Creation. But um, I thought, oh, well, it is an opportunity to create something bigger than a tea towel mm, or a scarf. Mm. So I did make a couple of banners that were three metres about three metres long and probably 1,200 wide or a bit more, so that um, they look better in the space. Yeah, that's true, because it's quite a, 
a big high space, isn't it? Yeah. And and that's what actually got me. I'm now more into or interested in creating those bigger pieces. And I sometimes paint on them with dye afterwards. I can add something that is actually mm, painting with dyes. So it's it's great fun. And I mean, really, you could use them as a tablecloth as well, couldn't yes, you? Yes, yes. They make a really stunning tablecloth. Yes. And, I think and you, curtains. Yeah, and you're talking about very... cushions as well too, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So I've made a few cushions, cushion covers and napkins. Oh, Christmas oh, and cards? Table, yeah, table runners. Table runners Christmas and Christmas cards. cards. The application is endless. Mm. I love drapes, but when those fabrics are hanging, especially mm. against glass, and they're just moving, mm. and those beautiful colours and shapes are all yes, you're right. undulating that would be in quite the breeze. Stunning, it's I really think. pretty. And are you thinking about an exhibition uh, at the end of this year, another one? Well, I was invited to have one in... Um, St John's Church in Bulimba, but it's been mm. cancelled because of this. However, you know when it's when it, yeah. when the world reopens, it's not a um, a business making venture. It's more a creative um, yes. outlet, isn't it? Mm. So, what about um, just to finish off? You got some some tips for our audience if they're sort of interested in doing something similar? Because you've got you got a website, mm. you've got business cards, haven't you? Yes. Yes, yeah, so I guess the most important thing these days was to have the website. Mm. And Kerry again helped me with that. We went for um, what turned out to be an American um, website, Squarespace, which has particularly beautiful but very simple um, mm. format. So you choose. And then the business cards, they're really useful because I use them. I put them into the packet with the tea towel mm. and all the stuff. So they serve as a bit of yeah. PR as well That's as... That's a good idea. And also Instagram. I've, I, I'm still learning it, but any of those platforms like Facebook, mm. I've also got a Facebook page, or Gifts of Creation does. Mm. So having Instagram, Facebook, business cards, website, I guess is kind of what you need. Yeah, and, and they do. Right. Um, it's not that cheap. To, you know, the, the mm. annual expenses especially if the website and the registration of business name can be two or three hundred dollars or something, but I don't have to sell that much to cover it. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> and um, like people can order online, so... Yes. Yeah, and you've got lots of different scarves there. Yes. The scarves and the tea towels are the most obvious online, but there's also now um, dress fabric printing it on the fabrics which are generally you know 1200 wide about. that's a great idea and then you can just buy however many meters you mm. like so um sewing summer like summer dresses well yes yeah, get ready for summer mm. hey you got lots of time yes <laughs> and particularly if you're um well in isolation at home mm. you're looking for something to do no that's a good idea isn't it yeah as I say, it was my passion for all those beautiful things that compelled me to do it. And also because um, I am so passionate about the earth and the planet mm. and looking after it, that creating these things to remind people of how beautiful the things that, you know, fall out of yeah, trees onto that's the right. ground. that we see every day. Yeah, just putting them in a different yeah. scenario. And we don't appreciate them, do we? We sort of look at them every day but don't really stop and appreciate them no I, well thank you for that i think it's really interesting like the idea like where it came from and how it developed mm. i think that's like a lot of things isn't it you're like if you you start out and you're not quite sure where it's going to go but but it interests you and you like it so you keep going and, and yes. that's where it takes you yes yeah. and that's a luxury in a way isn't it because a lot of when you're younger mm. whatever you choose is bit you've got to have the outcome of an a, a a wage. That's right. I haven't had that pressure, yeah. which is really lucky. And also, my darling aunt left me some money, and that's what actually what I was able to use to start the company. So I was really blessed, uh, you know, having that mm. money to start it off with. Yeah, that well. was really kind of her, wasn't mm. it? It was beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for sharing that's that story. Thanks, everyone. Thank see you, you next. Bye. See you next time.